day four of the latest search for Simon Parks. The sailor who went missing in 1986 continues to elude the professional search teams. The latest attempt to find him in Trafalgar Cemetery follows a new lead from a witness who was aboard HMS Illustrious when Simon Parks disappeared. Right, we started on Monday, uh, we had a set strategy uh, to search different locations within the cemetery. Uh, we followed that strategy, uh, we're progressing as we speak, uh, there's still some work to be done uh, and we're just going through the phases as, as planned. Uh, apart from the weather on the first day, which was a bit of a hindrance, but, but progress has been made as planned. This was expected to take a week, uh, can you tell us whether you're still on schedule to finish uh, tomorrow? The strategy, as you say, was to do it uh, in five days uh, and as it stands now, it does look like uh, we should be done with this phase tomorrow. Of course, these things always remain open and if uh, new information or when we sit back and, and, and debrief on, on the whole thing, we identify further searches to be done, then that will be revisited, of course, goes without saying. Yeah. Well, needless to say, so far there's nothing that leads you to believe that any remains of Simon Parks have been discovered. At this moment in time, there's nothing to comment in that respect. The search enters its final stages tomorrow, but the police teams have not ruled out a return to the search in the future if this week proves unsuccessful. I've been a journalist in Gibraltar for the last 20 years and I recall very early in my career when I was a junior reporter uh, covering the case of the missing Simon Parks when uh, the Hampshire police came here to carry out searches. So, even then it was considered a cold case. That gives you an indication of how long the search for Simon Parks has been ongoing. There is some good news. The media spotlight on this latest search has resulted in a few people coming forward with some information, both in Gibraltar and in Hampshire. The RGP says it helps build a bigger picture of Simon Parks' last known movements and once again calls on anyone who may have any information to contact Newmore House.